yeah, obviously a big fan of the darts. Um, it's sort of come from a from a young age, um, going at my local club with with my dad, where I'd play a lot of pool, and then on the odd night or when we finished playing pool, we'd go in the darts room and get everyone together playing like a big game of of Shanghai, which is kind of great for all standards of players. Um, so everyone can get involved with that. And um, yeah, it's good fun. Um, and yeah, obviously watching the likes of, you know, your Phil Taylors battling it out with um, like Barney all the time. Um, I remember one of my old, my dad's favourites was um, Colin Lloyd. Um, he was a big fan of his. So yeah, we sort of grew up watching the Premier League uh, with Phil Taylor pretty much dominating. But um, yeah, I've followed it ever since. And my birthday is the 23rd of December. So um, that always collides with the, the World Championships, which is at Ali Pali. So um, for sort of the last five or six years, other than the, the COVID pandemic, um, putting a stop to it, you know, I've gone down there every year and, um, you know, loved every minute of it. Well, absolutely. And you mentioned there you have a little go yourself every now and again, but I understand there's one thing that you really want to achieve that's just eluded you so far. Yeah, um, I've never hit a 180, which is really annoying. Um, like, I, I am one of them. I can't just accept that I'm just no good at something. So I just end up getting frustrated, putting them down, and, and that's the end. But I like technically, I've been told that my technique is good, but it just doesn't go where I'm aiming. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's all good fun. I always enjoy playing anyway. Well, that's the competitive animal in you at the end of the day, Kyra, and you're a sportsman. Yeah, I'm, I'm finding the same with golf as well. I've tried my hand at golf, but I'm useless. So uh, the golf clubs have been put away for a few months. Well, you need to wait for the weather to get a bit better before you do that anyway. That's true. To be honest, with these winds at the minute, it might improve my drives. <laughs> well, fingers crossed. Um, and obviously the big... Um, big uh, darting events happening at the moment. It's the Premier League. You're keeping close tabs on it, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I watched uh, last night's uh, Premier League. You know, girl in price was unbelievable. Two nine darters and um, obviously won the night. I think uh, the new format of it is much, much better. You know, having a winner at the end of each night. Um, you know, the crowds are absolutely amazing at those Premier Leagues. They're, they're absolutely packed out. So for them to see a winner at the end of the night, I think is much better. Obviously, it's quite a long-winded event where it's something like 17 nights. So for it to almost be like a little mini tournament every night, I think is a an awesome idea, really. Well, exactly. And the fact that it's an invitational event, they may as well jazz it up a little bit because, as Peter Wright said a few weeks ago, like it, in the old format, you could just have your one match, not really build that momentum. And you could lose heavily, but now that's not going to be the case if you get on a bit of a roll. Yeah, they're obviously uh, first to six and then, you know, they've only got to wait for a couple of matches and then they play the semis and then the final. So, yeah, I completely understand that. I think it was, um, I can't remember if it was first to seven or first to eight previously. Um, But yeah, it could have been over before you'd even started and, yeah, I can imagine some of those nights are great to be involved in. So you just want it to sort of last as long as possible. Well, exactly. And um, night four is not going to be too far away. And some, re- again, some really good games to look forward to. But which one stands out for you? Um, you'd probably have to say on paper that the Gerwin Price, Peter Wright game. Um, Gerwin Price is obviously current world number one. Uh, Peter Wright, world champion, and I think he's won one of the nights already. And obviously, uh, Gerwin won um, the last night, so that'd be a good game. Um, but for me in particular, I like the the Michael Smith Joe Cullen game. I think you know two young lads. I feel like fairly similar to to myself. You know, trying to sort of really break through in the sport and kind of knocking on the door. Um, Michael Smith got to a world final. Uh, a couple of world finals, but his recent one, you know, is awesome right away throughout that tournament and was obviously just unlucky against Peter Wright in the final. But, you know, I'm sure with him, it's just about sort of keep putting yourself in that position, knock the door down and, um, yeah, obviously break through in the sport. And the same for Joe Cullen. I think he's been awesome just recently. I think he won back-to-back pro tour events. So, um, 
again, you know, both playing really, really well and kind of probably wanting to stamp their authority in the game. So, um, yeah, that would be a good game for me to watch. Well, absolutely. And I'm going to ask you for a couple of predictions. So, <laughs> first of all, we've had three nights. We've had three different winners. Who will be the last man standing at the end of night four? Ooh. Um, oh, I think I think you're going to have to go with whoever wins out going Price and Peter Wright. So I'm going to say he's going to carry on with uh, with the momentum of the last one, and I'll go with going Price again. You know, and then we well, we're going quite a few weeks down the line, but come playoff night, who is going to be the last man standing? Um. Do you know what? I'm I'm still waiting for like Michael Van Gerwen to find the form that he had a couple of years ago, where he was just absolutely dominating. And I feel like it's only a matter of time before you do see like flashes of that again. So I'm going to throw it out there, and I'm going to go with Michael Van Gerwen. And of course, that would be the sixth title he'd move level with Phil. I think if he does it. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, that would be some achievement. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's in the back of his mind as well. <laughs> 